everybody. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hi. <laughs> the doctor's coming. We're just getting started. Oops, I lost you. I hear your voice. Hello. Hello. Hi, Hello. This is kind of cool. We get to see you guys too. So <laughs> last awesome. time we, we had some uh, interesting uh, recorded pics of a video of people that I think they didn't realize they were being recorded. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, we could, they didn't realize we could see them. So I think people are drinking beer and smoking <laughs> at the time. So. Uh, well, great. Well, thanks uh, for, for joining us. This is our second Zoom uh, training in a, uh, a series of many, I'm sure. Uh, fortunately, what we have at this point, uh, we can't really uh, obviously gather together at this point. Uh, so we're going to make the best of it. Uh, the good news is that we have a lot of good things that are happening at DNA and like everyone else that's going to make it and survive. Uh, we're adopting and staying creative and staying motivated, which is what we've all done anyways. Um, so I hope everyone's uh, having a good enough summer. Uh, this, this training is on summer skin awareness. Uh, we're gonna review a lot of things about skin. For those of you that don't know me, Dr. Aguilar, I'm the owner, CEO, and creator of products. This is our leader in business. And uh, we're devoted to the professional market, which is you, licensed institutions, nurses, doctors, and resorts, sports, 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 sports. We're hearing some feedback, so maybe if everyone can. Uh, uh, I'm not sure where that's going. From. Can everyone hear me okay? With feedback. <laughs> okay. Yes. yes, yes. Uh -oh. everyone, that? everyone needs to mute themselves. Yeah. Can everyone mute themselves, please? Okay. There we go. I think it, it stopped. Okay. Um, where were we? Okay. Everyone's on mute, correct? Do you have a phone close for a Anywhere close? I don't have mine here. Over there, is that? No, that's that's far enough. Pretty far away. Uh, someone has a phone somewhere, uh, but it should be muted. Um, okay, let's just keep going. So, <clears throat> Dr. Aguilar, CEO, founder, uh, 24 years in the market, um, at the highest level with with uh, innovating skin uh, at the same time using cutting edge, clean, organic. Uh, researched uh, products. This is Taisha. She's been with me for how many years now? 16. 16 years. We're babies. <laughs> <laughs> um, she has learned directly from me. We were working together in Beverly Hills uh, at the Los Angeles Center for Healing where we had um, a clinic. And uh, so she learned directly from me and clients and cases and things like that. So that's what we're going to cover today is, is obviously summer skin, summer awareness, along with protocols, a little bit of review of, of uh, you know, what, what are some of the hazards uh, that we come across um, and what we can do about it and just better awareness so that it can transfer over to your efficiency and your effectiveness and what you're doing. So the end result is your client, your customer is um, the beneficiary of that. But right before we get there, I want to kind of just go over some things that we are instilling. I understand uh, everyone is in a, in a place where our revenue streams have been affected. 
um, or abilities to actually produce income have been affected, encroached on. Um, we've, uh, especially in California, we've had a, a lot of issues with people opening up uh, again, closing again, opening up again. So we've had a lot of requests for the ability to have another revenue stream. And I can't think of a better time or a better way to opening up the ability for you as our DNA customer to be able to have a secondary revenue stream that will allow you to be able to sell online, right? So your ability to have an online store a part on your website has now been initiated. In other words, you are the first ones to know about this. Uh, we've we've, we've uh, contacted a lot of our longtime accounts. We've kind of put the brains and the consensus at this point is, please, can we do this? We need to do this because no one's walking in, uh, either because they're restricted or because they're shut down or because they're, you know, scared of what's going on. We've had massive amounts of calls from the public saying, I can't get DNA products from my place I usually go to. Can I buy it directly from you? Uh, and this is across the board. It doesn't matter if it's, you know, California, New York, Florida, Colorado. I mean, we get at least 100 calls a day. So we don't want to lose those customers. We don't want them to go somewhere else. We want to return them back to where they need to be, and that is you. So there is going to be a registry. In other words, if you are interested, we encourage you to do so, um, to uh, have an online store presence. Most of you already do. You just need to add a cart. Most of you already have one. Um, and add the ability to create revenue streams with DNA. Yeah. Um, register with Melissa. Uh, she's downstairs. She's usually here eight hours a day. Uh, very simple, very efficient. You call in. I'm Susie Doe from Tennessee, and uh, here's my information. Here's this. Here's that. Um, and what we want is to make sure that this community, this family stays uh, solid, stays connected, and away from any, you know, mishaps. The only reason why we haven't allowed this to happen in the past, it's always been something that people want to do. Um, I wanted to keep it professional. I wanted to keep it directly sold through you and not anywhere else. Times have changed, and I think that accountability and that responsibility is, is earned by you, the professional, the ability for you to be able to uh, efficiently um, have a revenue stream, stream that you deserve. And so I'm okay with that. I trust you guys. The only thing I, I ask is that I don't want to see it on Amazon. I don't want to see it on uh, eBay. I don't want to see it on Nextdoor app. I don't want to see it anywhere other than your website right? Because it protects everyone that is willing to do this. And I, I believe it's an amazing pro process. I think that it opens you up to the world. It opens it up to your customers. It allows you to have dialogue and opportunity to continue to educate. Some of the most successful people um, recently uh, are no longer doing physical treatments or doing online advising. They're doing online kits they're doing all these different things and all of a sudden now they're having a revenue stream that they didn't have before um the other uh, speculation here or or things that we, we we ask from you is to keep it at msrp or higher i don't care if you want to sell it for a thousand dollars but i don't want you to sell it for a dollar less than msrp okay i want to make sure that we are following congruency here that Mary isn't going to impede on Joyce and Marcy because she's selling it for $5, $10 less. Um, other than that, I believe this is a great opportunity and uh, everyone so far that we talked to and we sat down with is ready to go. So I think that this is an amazing opportunity for all of us to not only make it more available, to make it easier for your customers and patients uh, that you couldn't have. A lot of you have transient uh, type of uh, clientele where they're coming through and then they leave and they still want to buy it. 
we hear it all the time. Hi, I was in Florida and I, I was introduced to this product, but I live in Washington. I'm not going to get the product. Um, I was in California on vacation. I was in New York on vacation. I was in Chicago. I was wherever. And yet they, they can't get it in the moment. So we will refer them back to you and say, it is now available. You can order it on their website. So I would encourage you to get that done uh, as soon as possible to increase your revenue. Um, and it, it, it's a good feeling that you come back and at night you come back and there's three or five orders. Ordered at three in the morning, ordered um, you know, an hour ago before you woke up and now you have three, four, five hundred dollars oh, no. sales that now we're able to catch it, okay? Uh, we'll continue to have this dialogue, but I wanted to just give you this tip of information so that you can understand what's going on and, and capitalize on that. This is the first time ever that we have allowed this to occur. And I think it's timely and I think it's, it's uh, times of COVID. And we have to adjust and we have to capitalize on, on what we have. And I think it's gonna be a really good uh, revenue stream for everyone. The other thing that we're doing is we are rolling back uh, the price on DNA skin back to 2018 price list, which I was just looking at it and it's really back to 2016, some of the prices. So um, it, it's a good deal. We wanna make you successful. We wanna, this is a family, this is a, co a corporation between you and us, this is a relationship. So uh, we wanna make sure that we're doing everything we can within you know, our possibilities of, of ideas to, to, to help everyone out. So some of the, I would say 80% of the, the products are rolled back to 2016 prices, um, just to be able to allow this to happen. And this was uh, brought up in, in our meeting a couple of weeks ago. And I said, well, what's, what's the, the logic if, if that's great, but then they don't have an ability to sell product. So that's when this idea and the ability to kind of suggest that, okay, let's open it up for them to be able to sell online. So we're giving you the ability to buy product at 2016, 2018 prices, and now the ability to actually move product through um, advertising it, through selling it, to having a shopping cart on your, on your website, okay? So again, we're trying to really um, connect with you guys. We hear what's going on. We're aware of what's going on. We, we, we have our fingers on the pulse. And so we will continue to address certain things uh, that are gonna help you and strengthen our relationship and ultimately help your, your ability to retain and capture a new uh, revenue stream along with new clientele, okay? So this will be an ongoing situation as far as question and answers. Um, you can always call headquarters to get more information. Uh, there will be a, uh, an agreement, basically just saying some of the things that we just talked about. And you will be registered in case someone calls and says, you know, where do I get it? Where are you? I'm in Chicago, I'm in Florida, I'm in Washington. This is where you can get it. And then go directly to your website and buy product and capture some sales that otherwise you wouldn't be able to. Okay. Anything you want to say on that? I just think it's, it's exciting. We're, we're going to really do our best to regulate. I know that, you know, a lot of people are concerned about Amazon and things in Amazon. There will be a, um, a mention of that in the, in the new terms of, of agreement. So um, it just gives extra protection to everybody because that's absolutely the opposite of what we want to see. We don't want to see it going on there. Um, but uh, I think it's exciting. I think that it's the future. And um, I think for a lot of people, it's a little overwhelmed. They don't do any website things. So you, know, you can always get help with that. Um, I, I built one on GoDaddy, and I was shocked at how easy it was. So. Mm -hmm. um, just sit down and just hi <laughs> Karina. <laughs> um, just sit down and 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 play with it, and you'd be surprised how easy it can be. Um, yeah, it's 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 extremely easy, and I mean it's not something that hasn't been done before. In fact, there's billions of websites with carts now. So, um, and they can use the pictures off our website, right? Their cart. I I would encourage you to use to use ours just to stay um, uh, consistent and to look professional and to look like you're our an official 
uh, site that is, uh, you know, and I would suggest to say that official DNA uh, website because you are, everyone here is official, you've been certified, you, you are grandfathered in, you have the ability to sell online. Uh, we will be watching uh, this what, month, we shut down three other websites, uh, three other companies that were, one was an imposter, uh, basically a knockoff of DNA. Um, the other two were trying to uh, in, in, uh, encroach on our patents and trademarks. Uh, we shut those down. So there's a lot of that really funny stuff going on right now just because there's people are desperate and I don't blame them. But, you know, we're vigilant to make sure we protect your business. We protect our integrity. And uh, we have a full-time legal team um, scanning everything all the time. There was one from China, one from the UK, one from California. So. They're, they're all over. Um, so I encourage you to use our pictures. I encourage you to register with us. I encourage you to say official a DNA certified website. Okay. And of course we're professionals. So, you know, we, we prefer, and usually these are your clients. We prefer that you, you, you encourage them to ask questions about what the product, how to use the product. Well. So, however you want to put that language. An effective clinical. Uh, for those of you that are not on mute, please zoom at this point and make it a lot easier. Okay, so again, website, online sales, um, 2016 uh, prices rolled back. This is our ability to do that for you and to continue to. And work together in relationship. Um, so I hope everyone takes advantage of that. All right, so let's talk about summer skin and awareness. Let's review a little bit about what that means. We obviously are in July. Some of you are in some of you are in the Midwest, some of you are here in California, but the reality is that we have to deal with ultraviolet radiation, UVA, UVB. Um, you know, the UVA is consist about 80% of all the UV uh, that is radiated and about 20% of UVB. The UVA is what really causes a breakdown of plasma. This is what really starts to kind of eat you up after long exposures. UVB, is, so some people say, what's worse or what's better? And the reality is that everything in small doses is, is UVB is the the deeper DNA damage that is really responsible for things like pre-cancer, lesions, things like that. Um, what burns you initially is a UVA. Um, and then the stuff that just gets in and creates deeper DNA damage is UVB. So um, again, ultraviolet, when you think of ultraviolet, think about ultraviolet radiations. Okay, these are, these are, these are, uh, Rays, uh, the UVA is a longer, uh, larger quantity that we all get exposed to. The UVA or UVB is a smaller, which is a shorter wavelength uh, versus longer wave, wavelength. One is more burning, one is more uh, aging, and the other one is, uh, has more photo damage and causes more DNA uh, restructuring and free radical damage. You hear a lot about the whole concept of vitamin D and, and we need to get out in the sun. And ever since we've been wearing sunscreens, uh, you know, we've had more cancer, we've had more of this and more of that. And I think this is going to be a, um, a conversation that we can probably have 10 years from now still because there's so many variables, right? Some people live in subtropical environments, some people live in Canada, some people live in mountain areas, some people live on the beach, some people spend more time. Some people wear, you know, toxic um, um, uh, sunscreens, on and on and on. So the rule of thumb is this. This is my advice to everyone here. And this should be the advice that you tell your, your clients and, and people. Um, yes, sun is important, but make sure you're out there before 10 a.m. and after 4 p.m. Those are the safe zones, okay? Obviously, if you're closer to the equator, uh, I would say 5 p.m. around summertime, you, you're still going to have four hours of sunlight. 
Uh, the sun arises probably at 5.30, so you're going to have from 5.30 to about 10 to be able to get your, your sun exposure. Obviously, if you can't um, do that, then you have to wear some, some UV protected clothing, uh, maybe a sun hat, some, some of our sunscreen. There's ways to get around it. But for the most part, 10 a.m. or before or 4 p.m. or after is a really good rule of thumb if you're going to be out there getting your vitamin D dose. Um, the UVB uh, is what actually uh, produces the energy for your body to produce vitamin D. Okay, a lot of times uh, that was a question that will come a lot. Well, is it UVA? What, what exactly is the sun? It's the UVB. And unfortunately, because UVB, it's interesting how nature works, right? It has, it's like a double side or a double edged sword. It gives you the ability to create vitamin D, but yet at the same time, if you get too much of it, you're going to expose yourself to possible cancers. Now, genetically speaking, Fitzpatrick scale is very important. If you're a Fitzpatrick one, two, you know, you're going to be at a higher risk to develop and absorb more vitamin B or UV be raised. Your genetic makeup was basically made for you to spend a lot more time under cloud cover uh, for six months of the year. Um, and if you're, you know, Fitzpatrick four and five, you have a, a higher tolerance, uh, but yet you have a less ability to create vitamin D, right? So this whole vitamin D sunlight is a very interesting balance and, and dance that we have to play with. Um, all it takes is really, you know, 10, 20 minutes before 10 a.m. or after 4 p.m. to induce that production of vitamin D in your body. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about vitamin D as we go along uh, because we do have uh, a product that we, we encourage people to use. So what causes, um, what can we expect from overexposure to UV radiation? Uh, mostly, you can expect wrinkles over time. Uh, pigmentation, melasma, uh, you can uh, look at things like liver spots, aging spots, anything to do with melasma or hyperpigmentation, uh, even hyperpigmentation is also something that most people don't think about. Loss of skin tone to the breakdown of collagen and elastin, uh, redness and blotchiness. A lot of times people don't have any issues with with wrinkles, I don't have any issues with anything, but their skin is just not healthy looking. It's inflamed, there's capillary fragility, there's a little bit of a rash, they respond to uh, temperature fluctuations, they, they come out of the shower and they're exposed to chlorine and they're red for an hour after. So these are just things that over time, UV uh, radiation just really accelerates. Roughness and uneven of the skin, premature aging, dryness, uh, pores become enlarged, and then of course the vascularization of broken capillaries is another big one that we're starting to see more and more. Um, so with that, having, having said that we're right in the middle of, of summer, uh, obviously this is a summer unlike any other summers uh, due to stay-at-home orders, uh, people are wearing masks, so they are kind of protecting the lower part of their, their face. Uh, so there's a lot of different things. The things that I've seen is people that are very sensitive to, to masks are starting to get breakouts. They're starting to get uh, irritations, rashes. Uh, rashes, even on their nostrils, their mouth. Uh, there, there's just a lot to just really think about. So the important thing to remember is that um, consider these, these, these guidelines, uh, Fitzpatrick three or less, definitely have to stay within 10 a.m. or after 4 p.m. Um, and we'll talk more about the vitamin D as we go along. Well, because with DNA, it, literally every product you're, you're using antioxidants. So it, one drop of our eye cream, like doctor explained to me years ago, one little pump is enough with, with you know, floral bliss to provide the skin with enough antioxidants free radical damage, which is another issue with, you know, um, the pro-oxidant effect of, of, the, the, of the damaging rays. So antioxidants are so crucial, particularly when you're in the sun. Um, 
And then, of course, the only other thing I would add is that luckily the FDA analyzed the data and came out and said, oh, oops, you know, these chemicals are accumulating in your tissue, they're accumulating in your organs. And so we've seen more openness as far as the toxic chemicals that are in sunscreen and the more, the more awareness now. It, unfortunately, it took the FDA finally speaking up. I wish that we've been saying, he's been saying it for years and years. Um, that the, the, these chemicals are having a pro-oxidant meaning the opposite of an antioxidant effect on the skin and on the health of, of your organs, actually. So uh, I do share this on my Instagram, um, different posts about that from the, the, the FDA sites and from different news articles. So please share that with your, with your clients as well if they're cherry picking your sunscreen. A lot of people will use DNA and then they'll go cherry pick their sunscreen because they like something about whether it's a tint or a feeling if this this is a pretty serious thing you know we can't be trying to regenerate skin and keep the skin healthy as an organ and then putting all these toxic chemicals on it because those are causing more than likely more of the the breakdowns of the skin's health so yeah it's a that the balance that dance that we was talking about earlier about less sun exposure or more sun exposure uh, with more sunscreen, but it has chemicals in it and the amount of, of misinformation that's bouncing around. Um, the only thing I, I do wanna say is that as far as sunscreens, uh, full spectrum is important just because you need it to protect you from UVA and UVB. So full spectrum is important. It doesn't matter if it's a 28 or 30 or 50 or 100, uh, as long as it, it is, chemical free uh, and you always have to reapply it at least hour and a half to two hours later. It doesn't matter the SPF, right? So those are the things a lot of times people apply it and then they go on the beach or they go swimming and then they're out there for an hour, hour and a half uh, and then they wonder why they get burnt. So reapplication is crucial. So if you have to reapply it, it doesn't really matter the SPF. It just matters that you have a coverage and that you're being protected. Um, do you want to talk a little bit about protocols for summer? Um, well, I, I actually wrote an advanced protocol. It's, it's pretty advanced because it incorporates um, different modalities and, and how to incorporate those modalities with DNA for hyperpigmentation. You're all going to get it in an email form. Um, but as you guys know, we have the, the, lightning, the lightning line. And it's not just to brighten pigmentation. It's actually to prevent pigmentation as well. So we have the lightning wash, the lightning gel, and they have the tyrosinase inhibitors in them. And so those can be incorporated in summer to prevent summer damage, not necessarily to undo any damage. So it's important to remember that the vitamin C is really crucial. So the protocol um, that I wrote is actually incorporating those, those lightning aspects um, with things like needling with LED. Do you want me to go through the whole protocol? Well, just highlight it. Yeah. I mean, I think, you know, the MediClear line mm -hmm. was in response to um, voiding out the hydro, uh, hydroquinones and kochic acids. Uh, we understood that for those of you that have taken our classes, our certification classes, you understand that, that targeting what creates an overabundant of melanin secretion and production is the tyrosinase production um, and the tyrosine conversion into melanocytes. Uh, there is an enzyme that is a, responsible for blocking that, which is a, called the tyros, 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 tyrosinase, sorry. Some coffee. Tyrosinase. <laughs> and so to be able to inhibit that is, is, is important because uh, if it's allowed to continue to convert that, it's going to create a lot of hyperpigmentation. So studying the whole pathology of it and the whole pathways of how that works led us to create the, the MediClear line with a combination of amino acids, uh, fruit acids, uh, and other minerals, uh, other uh, plant fats and chemicals. Uh, together, they, they produce a very efficient tyrosinase uh, block that prevents that from happening. So uh, I think it's a very important thing to consider. 
uh, like Taisha said, it is very uh, preventative. Um, a lot of times people come to you in September and say, oh my God, I had a really bad summer, look at my face. So what have you been doing to protect it? Well, I wear sunscreen. Um, sunscreen is not enough. Sunscreen is like a, a sort of like emergency. It's, it's required, but what are you doing to reverse the aging process? What are you doing to, to prevent and, and revert the pigmentation? I don't care what kind of sunscreen you're doing. If you're out, you know, surfing, beach going, uh, kids are in little league, you're being exposed by driving, you will get freckle spots, uh, you will get some of that the UVB damaging the DNA. You have to start correcting some of that process because it is like an avalanche. It starts going and it doesn't stop. A lot of people say, well, you know, once you hit 30, once you hit 40, once you hit 50, it's like, no, it's been happening since you were 10, right? And so the ability for our cells to, to regenerate just becomes less and less sufficient. And therefore now the DNA reproduction and duplication becomes more and more and more compromised. And that's what happens. Um, along with you know, a bunch of other stressors that when we were 10 and 12, we really didn't have. But now as adults, we do have. Um, so a daily protocol of, of some of the Medi MediClear uh, line is so important. The vitamin C is amazing. It's, it's, it's a go-to to immediately brighten the skin, exfoliate the skin, and penetrate the, uh, the, the skin with one of the most renowned uh, antioxidants, which is a pure vitamin C. Because um, it does DNA repair. I mean, yeah. vitamin C is one of the few things on the planet that can repair your DNA. And I wanted to say, I grew up in the 80s banking in tanning beds and on tin roofs with Crisco. And if I had not run into this, this amazing man in this line, <laughs> I, I mean, my sister has actinic keratosis and free cancers all over, and I've helped her, um, thank God. But um, I, I would have been in trouble had I not have done all the repair I've done with DNA over the years, over the past 15, 16 years. So um, antioxidants are so, that's, you know, again, so crucial for repairing DNA. Yeah, you have to remember that that cochic acid and hydroquinone and some of the other peels, those are now implemented to, to correct the, the damage that's already been done. But it, it doesn't stop it from continuing to happen. You know, you see a lot of times lasers and, and, and some, some chemical peels that are, are great, but then three, four months later, they come back. So, you know, when people, it, it's no different than saying, well, if I eat a big meal, do I have to eat every day or can I eat once a week? No, you have to eat every day. You have to eat three times a day. You have to, you know, you have to continue to nourish your body because it's continuing to regenerate. It's continuing to break down. It's continuing to be exposed to free radical aggressors. So a daily dose of vitamin C, of uh, lightning uh, cleansers, uh, of your... Um, your uh, cleansers, your eye creams, you know, every DNA product is an antioxidant, a very effective antioxidant. So um, I think you wait until the end of summer because now you have damaged skin is not going to be resolved by one treatment. It's going to come and bite you again next year, and next five years, and next 10 years. It's accumulated. Um, and again, we'll, we'll have a class on peels, I'm sure, within the next few months to kind of, you know, clear up a lot of the debris and the massacre that happened after summer. But um, I want to really start shifting to thinking about preventative skincare damage every day, not just summer. Because you have, again, the wrinkles. What's going to happen with that? What do we have for wrinkles? We have every product here is an anti-wrinkle report. Basically, it's the concave uh, loss of, of collagen and elastin. That's all it really is. Um, pigmentation is basically your ability to protect yourself against too much sun, against the ability of UVA, UVB to penetrate your skin and cause damage. Um, it is not pretty. It is not something that your, your DNA says, if I'm exposed to sun, I can't create pigment because it doesn't look pretty. It doesn't think that way. It thinks, what's the best way for me to have a physical layer barrier from UVA, UVB? Melanin. 
Melanin is your natural self protection against environmental aggressors like UVA, UV, dry air, um, wind. There's a lot of a lot of things that can happen. Um, now, also one thing I didn't mention is if you're in a tropical environment like Florida or, or community, which is Texas, Alabama, South, even back east during the, the summer. The UVA, UVB uh, actually magnifies with moisture on your skin, right? So sweat, moisture in the air, it magnifies just like that magnifying glass. So in those areas, you have to be extra, extra. Um, so you can kind of highlight yeah. some of those. So I'll highlight, um, this protocol incorporates uh, LED needling. You can obviously incorporate your microcurrent in the middle of it or any other modalities. Um, just starting with cleansing with cream of nectar and then with the Medi Lightning Wash, adding the vitamin C crystals to the lightning wash, you see a brightening of the skin immediately. As Dr. explains, you know, the, the vitamin C in a wash, it's re reaching the adipose tissue. It's not wasted on anything. So don't think it's wasteful to add to the cleanse. Um, you can add it to the mask, you can add it to, to the end of the, end of the treatment. Um, in this protocol, we'll be um, nanoparticling it in or microneedling or just using it. Um, it's obviously getting in there. Um, so cleansing with the lightning wash, adding the vitamin C, um, and then a DNA peel according to skin type. Don't worry, we're going to email these. How that off, apply a mask according to the skin type, a DNA mask, add a pinch of vitamin C to the mask, and a pump of zinc therapy gel, incorporating all those amazing acids into the mask, such as in therapy. Um, and then cleansing twice, always cleanse twice before application of Sigma Pro. Um, they, they need to go through the pore and the fall or the leach. And I can't stress this enough because I've run into it all the time where people have just toweled off the mask and they're applying this pro. Sorry to interrupt. I, I don't know if anybody else can hear it, but it's extremely difficult mm -hmm. for me to hear. I think some people are still not muted. So oh, it's can you like there's like an airplane flying over and, and you're almost silent. Is that better? If, yeah. you guys go, if you, as the host, go to the participants, you can you can mute those few that aren't um, muted. You can see their mics are still on. So oh, we just muted Jacqueline. <laughs> Sorry, Jacqueline. I think you guys muted yourself. Can you hear us? Yes, but Julie and Rebecca are still not muted. Okay, we're getting there. <laughs> okay. We'll figure this out. I wonder if they walked away or something. You guys hear us now? Yeah, we can hear you, but there's still quite a few people that are not muted. There's something, yeah, I can hear a little something. Sounds like they're driving or something. Right. I'm unmuting myself, and this is not to be rude. I could just see who's not muted. So I'm going to let you know who it is. Angela Kaufman, if you could mute yourself, please. Julie, it says you're on a phone call. If you could mute that, please. Um, and Anne Marie Laughlin, Julie. Perfect. And Anne Marie Laughlin. It says she's muted. I don't. It says Angie's muted. Um, it, 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 the. Well, it's quiet again. All right, that was it. Sorry, it was just so hard to hear you. Okay, is that better? Yep. Okay. All Yay. right, guys, we'll look we'll at this. We'll, we'll figure it out. Just go. 
Oh, there it is. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. So where were we? We were doing, um, we were incorporating the Signal Pro. So again, cleanse twice previous to Signal Pro application. Um, then, so in this protocol, I have, I have the option to microneedle or nanoparticle. Nano is, is strong. It, it may seem benign, uh, especially the Resenerate pen for those of you that use that. Disregard this if you don't use either, you don't need to. It's powerful stuff on its own. This is just to penetrate deeper. Um, but this would be a 0.25 needle. It's not necessarily, you don't need to go deep with um, microneedling to get results with DNA. We get enough collagen. We get quite a bit of collagen, over 100% with all our products. So it would just be incorporating very, very minor microneedling. So you, would, you could microneedle or nanoparticle the Signal Pro in, then you can apply the lightning gel with Zen and vitamin C and do a very light microneedling again and, nano, or, and or nano and then apply LED for 15 minutes. So what we're doing is the Signal Pro can be used with the LED and so can the, um, the lightning line um, to, dry, to penetrate and then apply, you know, the, the necessary uh, moisturizer and DNA sunblock afterwards. And then of course I have the home, in, the home ingredients. So advise the clients to begin Dermaclear and vitamin C if they have melasma or um, hyperpigmentation, liver spot issues. And he's going to explain the importance of Dermaclear and the science behind that with the glutathione. I'm assuming, yeah. And then um, for home recommendations, I have Signal Plus. What we found in our original kind of trials with the Signal Pro and Plus is a, a serious um, lightening of hyperpigmentation, which was profound. This was on its own single application. When it's used with microneedling or microchanneling of any kind or nano, it, it, it just enhances the effect. Um, microneedling um, pierces the skin. It creates small wounds. You don't need to, to create an injury. Um, and the, it regenerates the skin cells uh, that disperse clusters of melanin so it can lighten the dark spots. When we incorporate that with the Signal Pro or the Plus, it's profound. Um, and so, you know, this could be done on a week to every 10 day basis for a series for hyperpigmentation lightening. But you're going to get this in an email. So, um, uh, I wanted to just back up really quick and say one really quick thing about sun protection and clients. And a lot of people just don't, they cannot grasp that the driving issue that they're getting sun. And unfortunately the window is blocking the, some of the more dam or the more positive rays from the sun, the more damaging ones are, are making it through. So please, please remind your clients. I can't tell you how many times I've spoken to people across the country where their client got some pigmentation after peels and, and they just didn't grasp the fact that when you're um, driving and, and some people commute an hour or they're doing errands for an hour and maybe they put sunscreen on in the morning, but as doctor said, it has to be applied every hour to every two hours. Um, they need to reapply in the car. However, they can, can make that happen. I always say, put a, buy two sunscreens, one's for your house, one's for your car or purse. Um, but, you know, they, if they've gone shopping, they need to reapply, or if they've gone to work, they need to reapply before they drive home. If they're in California or Florida or places with a lot of sun, it's coming in through the front window, it's hitting their chest, their neck, the side of their face. Um, just remind them, I'm for you. Yeah, and that's not just with peels. I mean, if you do anything aggressive, anything. Um, you know, microdermabrasion, microneedling, uh, the peels, lasers, plasma, whatever. You're creating a little bit of a controlled wound, which means if it gets sun exposure, guess what's gonna happen? The body's gonna to wanna to protect it. Very much like a scrape or a bruise, it darkens, right? If it's if, if Fitzpatrick fours and fives are more likely to create scar tissue, then that's what's gonna happen. So you see a lot of people with Scar tissue, you see a lot of these, uh, I'm not sure the name of the tribe, maybe there could be a few in Africa, but they, they microneedle their whole body and what happens is they get these little BB size 
um, scars, yeah, like keloids. keloids, and also now they, they, they have, and, and it's not because of any other reason, it's just because they're very proficient in creating scar tissue and they're exposed to sunlight 24-7, pretty much. Um, that's an extreme example, but a much lesser uh, degree when you do a lot of uh, more aggressive procedures, which are very effective, they have to have uh, protection. They have to be advised to wear sunscreen, stay out of the sun, uh, not to really sweat too much the first couple of days then after, um, because, you know, they will have some, some risk of infection, some inflammation, uh, secondary bacteria growth. It's just a normal process to make sure they get it in their heads. Um, all right, so let's uh, switch gears and talk a little bit about supplementation. So I've been in, in clinical practice for 20, almost 25 years. <laughs> so that's a quarter century of seeing clinical presentations of different things um, from skin to just systemic issues. Um, and so um, I stay in the trenches just to be able to be more of an effective uh, person to advise. Uh, so I, I, I I see patients, clients twice a week uh, from every, every modality that, or any kind of uh, symptoms that you can imagine. But talking about DNA and their supplements, let's start with the Dermaclear. Uh, the Dermaclear is a very, very unique product in the sense that we follow the clinical practice of the tyrosinase in inhibition. So the Dermaclear is basically a tyrosinase inhibitor, but it's oral, right? Um, I don't know of another one out there uh, that is a tyrosinase inhibitor. And it does that by the same principles that we're addressing the free radical damage of cells in the body. So when you look at the Dermaclear, and a lot of you have the, the breakdown. If you don't, we can get it to you. Um, it basically is an antioxidant formula. It's there to, to detox your liver. It's there to increase the ability of your body to fight free radical damage. Um, it's got a lot of the things that you might have heard of, like CoQ10, alpha-lipoic acid. Uh, the main ingredient here, obviously, is the um, gl glutathione, which is one of the most uh, important antioxidants that most of us don't have. Uh, the ability to uh, process. A lot of you have heard of the genetic mutation that, I, that doesn't allow people to naturally detoxify. Um, there's, there's, there's testing now. Uh, we find that uh, a big percentage of the population now has that gene mutation. And this is basically something that can help these particular people. Uh, you find it uh, more in Native Americans, uh, African-Americans, Hispanics, for whatever reason. Um, so the ability to accumulate toxicity, the ability to not be able to deflect stress. And a lot of people don't realize that stress itself, it doesn't matter what color, shape, or smell it comes in, it is an anti-life, uh, if you will. So if you're having a bad relationship, if you're stuck in a bad job, if you feel like you don't have time for yourself, uh, if you're having bad food, if you live in a toxic environment, these are all stressors that sometimes we don't think about. We think of stressors as uh, things that are just things you can see and smell and feel. Uh, but some of these other ones, we don't have an ability to do so. So a lot of times when I ask people, you know, how's your stress? Oh, you know, it's okay. I said, are you dealing with a lot of stress? Yeah, but, you know, I can handle it. Okay, so you're writing a check every day for that stress. That means that you're, you're accumulating resources to pay off a bill that is very high, but yet you're tolerating the stress, but yet you have other issues like you can't sleep, you have joint pain, you have digestive issues, uh, you have other, other things going on. So there's only so much to go around. So the Dermaclear by design, it's there to help your liver it's there to help your ability to deflect stress because stress at the end of the day ends up in the same place and that is cell compromising free radical damage. The secretion of cortisols and epinephrine and adrenaline, these are stress hormones. 
that flood your, your, your bloodstream in your body to allow you to survive. At the same token, like nature is always balanced, it has a good and a bad. We can survive in this particular environment for a short time, but not for days and weeks and months and years. That'll start breaking things down, right? The example I like to tell people is like if you roll your ankle, there's going to be inflammatory responses, there's going to be stress hormones. But if, if, if that ankle continues to be inflamed for weeks and months, it creates tissue damage, right? So if we are in a constant state of stress, which most of us are at this time, I, I can't tell you how many people I've talked to that for the first time they've had anxiety. They never knew what anxiety was until recently. <laughs> and it <laughs> demonstrates in so many different ways, you know? It's like, I can feel my heart pounding or I can't stand still, I can't sleep, um, I, I, I lost my appetite, or I have a ravenous appetite, I've lost 10 pounds, I've gained 30 pounds, um, I have headaches, I, I'm nervous. Um, there's all these different ways that people demonstrate anxiety. So that anxiety is your, your body's attempt to balance something that your brain is detecting as a stress, right? And so the added adrenaline, the added cortisol is going to create a lot of these symptoms. And so in order for us to protect ourselves, even hyperpigmentation aside, we need to be able to have something that is safe, something that people can take, something that can detox their liver and start chipping away at this accumulated stress response and free radical damaging in the body. Now the skin is the first thing we see, but if we see it in the skin, then you can be sure that you can count on free radical damage of internal organs, nervous system, brain, melanin, uh, the myelin sheet of nervous system, uh, inflammatory responses, people starting to get a little more stiff, a little more tired or amped up. Uh, so there's all these th different things. And at the end of the day, where you've have, you have these millions of cells that are reactive to this cascade of stress hormones that over time starts to break them down and encroach on their ability to actually function, right? So the Dermaclear is not just a oral tyrosinase inhibitor, but it, it is also a very potent detoxifier and antioxidant. Uh, the alpha lipoic acid is very important in regulating blood sugar because that in itself gets encroached on and gets compromised when there's a lot of stress. Um, you know, the, the medical literature years ago, 15 years ago, was pretty much uh, congruent in the fact that inflammation is the root of a lot of illness and a lot of, a lot of uh, diseases. And that we know, but Take it a step further, now they're starting to ask, well, what causes inflammation? What's the real reason why inflammation exists, right? Inflammation, we're not born with inflammation. Uh, we acquire it, are we exposed to it? What, what triggers inflammation? And some of the medical literature is really, really, really starting to point out insulin resistance, insulin uh, or blood sugar fluctuations. These are very, very threatening things to your body, which allow, um, sort of like break down and free radical damage of other cells in the body. So keeping your blood sugar steady is super important. I think that, uh, and what most people don't understand is that insulin is a hormone. It's the, the number one produced hormone in the body because whether we eat, it gets, we eat or we don't, it gets affected. What we eat, it gets affected. The amount of food we eat gets affected. The important thing that remember is that we have 100% control over, over that depending, are we going to fast? Are we going to eat? What are we going to eat? How often am I going to eat? These are all things that regulate blood sugar or can work against you. Uh, we have the vitamin C in there. We have the N-acetylcysteine, which is, you know, a natural antioxidant, uh, pr produces your natural antioxidants. Proline and glycine is, is important for collagen production. Uh, in fact, collagen cannot be produced unless you have these things in the skin. Um, so CoQ10, I'm just highlighting some of the important ones. L-lysine, uh, uh, we have the uh, uh, L-proline, which are all precursors to collagen as well. Zinc. They're in the whole line. I mean, yeah. glycine, that's all. Yeah, this is all in this Cleanse product. with it. Yeah. 
So <clears throat> Thermoclear is a very important product, I think, um, to really consider. Um, and it, it, it really, it's effective. Uh, you have a lot of these really, really tough uh, cases where they have to stay on, on kochic acid or they have to have hydroquinone treatment to the dermatologist because it just doesn't go away. The problem isn't on the skin. The problem is that their genetic makeup is very efficient in producing melanin. So you have to internally address it so that it starts to, to dissipate. And usually if you see a spot on the skin, you start to see it break up, almost like a jigsaw puzzle. It starts to create these little separations and then it just starts to really sort of dissipate. Um, so it's a detoxification um, product. It's an antioxidant and it's a tyrosinase inhibitor. Okay, super valuable in everything you, you can imagine. Okay, great for someone that doesn't have a clean lifestyle. Say they have a, they eat a lot of uh, food out. They might drink a bit. Uh, they might smoke. Um, they're under a lot of stress, which at this point everyone is. Uh, they may not have the the greatest uh, lifestyle in general. Um, so this is a great neutralizer to kind of balance the odds against the aging process. Okay. The other one we have is Nail Solve. Now this is one of my favorite um, products. And by the way, I've tested all these on myself. I, I overdose to see what happens if someone decides to take a whole bottle and see what happens, right? Uh, the Dermaclair didn't do anything. It, 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 Kind of upset my stomach a little bit, but I took 10 pills twice a day, which is a, just an overkill. And after about the fourth day, I started to feel a little queasy. And then I feel like, okay, that's what happens if you overdose or you take too much. A little, which can happen with water, which can happen with, you know, if you eat too much vegetables. So nothing really effective. What I did notice is my pore size reduced by like half. <laughs> um, so it does regulate sebum production. It does do a lot of different things uh, in that way. So the NATO Solve is one of my favorite products. Uh, it's uh, it's a proteolytic enzyme, and enzymes uh, it, they're fascinating. Like they're essentially amino acids or byproducts of proteins, but they're special proteins. These guys are instigators. They're catalysts. Without enzymes, life doesn't exist. So our bodies are, are, are meant to take this substance, this molecule, and, and attach it to this molecule and convert it to do something else. And without enzymes, that doesn't happen. So a lot of times what happens is we, when we stress, the body uses a lot of these enzymes to create these, these uh, adaptogenic uh, uh, we, um, sort of counter uh, response to stress, right? And so what happens at the end of the day, you're used up a lot of your enzymatic capabilities. If you're drinking coffee, if you're drinking alcohol, if you're not drinking water, if you're not eating live food, if you're eating a lot of processed foods, you're not creating an environment that enzymes can initiate themselves. A lot of the enzymes can't survive and a lot of the enzymes aren't being produced. So the natal solve comes from that perspective, right? So the reason why it's called natal solve is because it does dissolve a lot of the byproducts that are not digested and left there to pretty much decompose and create toxicity. So it's great for cardiovascular um, to reduce some of the um, the, inf the inflammation and plaque. Uh, and plaque, biofilm, which is a um, byproduct of infection and uh, unfriendly flora. A lot of people talk about the, uh, the digestive uh, or gastric uh, uh, bacteria loads. Um, again, those create a lot of film. Anything, by anything that's alive will create a, an ability to digest food, convert it, and um, So the nasal salt is very important to clean a lot of that residue to clean the cardiovascular system. Uh, it's great for rosacea, uh, fragility. It's important. And um, the ingredients come from silkworm, 
Um, it was isolated back in, I think, the 60s. And it's what the actual moth used to actually break down the protein fibers of the cocoons right before it, 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 it blossomed into a butterfly. And that particular protein was um, isolated. And now we're fast forward 60 years later, and now they're, produ they're producing structures, they're producing uh, materials, they're producing uh, a bunch of different things with it because it's, it's super strong, stronger than steel when it's produced in the right way. Um, so this is very important for inflammation. It's important to dissolve um, scar tissue. Um, you know, I've been an athlete my whole life and I have my, my share of, of uh, different scars that I've had. Some have been surgical, some have been just trauma. And I have a very, very good ability to, tr to create uh, keloids. And um, I started taking this and I think within six months, all those keloids were gone. Um, so it breaks down a lot of the, the overproduction of fibrin, which is proteins that lead to obstruction and leads to scar tissue. So those are very important to consider. Um, I usually put most men on it that are over 50 just to keep their plumbing clean. Uh, cardiovascular process, it has the amino acids to support uh, good heart with the CoQ10 and then some of the other brain functions. Now remember that when we think about cardiovascular system and with men and, and women now too, because they're, they're pretty much doing the same thing men are doing with the workforce and, and being moms and business owners and, you know, jack of all trades, that they're under the same stress that men are. So we're starting to see a lot of increase of, of heart conditions and, and food diabetes. Too. Don't you think it's like a lot of canola oil and, and margarine yeah. and these fake, fake um, butters and, you know, it just became epidemic where you're having 20 year olds having strokes. It's well, they have that in the canola oil and everything. It's in everything. Yeah. <laughs> Get it out of your house. Well, when you go eat at restaurants, they're not oh, using canola. Uh, yeah, they're not using expensive, good grade organic olive oil because it's too expensive. So they're using canola, which is basically synthetic at this it's point. It's in everything in Whole Foods. You go to mm -hmm. get a hummus, even it's canola. Mm -hmm. They it's like just use olive oil, people. Mm -hmm. But it's 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 about the bottom the bottom line. It's about the you know how far can we stretch it and keep it pennies to the jar or whatever. And like most skincare lines, but I shouldn't say that, but you know, you have to look at your food ingredients just like you do your skincare. Yeah, and, and so in that sense, what you're trying to do is 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 to really increase the a healthy blood flow to the body, to the capillaries, to the skin, to the brain. Uh, it's very, very, very important. Uh, vascular health. If anyone has spider veins, uh, everyone has anyone has any kind of a history of uh, high blood pressure, high cholesterol. If anyone has an issue with uh, varicose veins uh, or they bruise easy, for instance, um, I added what's called rutin, which is a capillary um, ingredient that helps to really increase the, the, the structure of the inside of the, the blood vessels and capillaries. Um, so one of my favorites, I take it every night. I take two before I go to bed because I, I, I do know that everything I eat doesn't get digested. It, doesn't matter who you are. If, if you're going to have a certain percentage of stuff that doesn't continues to start flowing around. And I want that stuff to be digested and not in my body. Uh, great for people that have kidney issues uh, because the kidneys didn't have to work harder to clean the blood and proteins and that kind of stuff. So it's, it's a, an incredible product. Uh, and again, not a lot of uh, issues with side effects. Um, I did take a lot of it at one point for about a month. And I, I think I started to feel a little bit of, of sort of hand uh, soreness, uh, but I was taking a lot. Uh, gave me a lot of energy though. I felt like I can breathe. Uh, I do have a, a little bit of sensitivity to, to dust. Uh, I remember just not sneezing. Uh, I was cleaning up my garage and different things. And it helps with the mucous membranes to clear those up, any kind of inflammatory response in that area, the throat, the sinus, uh, the ears works very, very well for that. Great for the lungs too. That's a mucous membrane. So anyone with uh, any kind of breathing issues, 
very important for that as well. Uh, the seed clear, um, also one of my favorite, uh, I take that every day. Uh, the seed clear is very, very cool in the sense that it, people think it's, it's just vitamin C and it's not. Um, it's uh, full, filled with bioflavonoids, it's an antihistamine, which means, again, it's an antioxidant, it's an anti-inflammatory, uh, it's great for allergies, uh, it's great for building collagen, uh, it has uh, magnesium, zinc, potassium. Which most people are really deficient in. Magnesium and mm -hmm. zinc is epidemic right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one of the only, the only connections that we've had with a lot of the people that have had uh, serious illness, illnesses with what's going on right now, uh, they find that people that have actually have died and have had really, really strong reactions to uh, infection that at least 80% of them have been very severely depleted in vitamin D and zinc uh, with magnesium as well. Magnesium is found in every cell in the body. It's, it's, it's the most abundant uh, biological nutrient that we can get. So when we think about C-Clear, uh, getting back to Dermaclear, the Dermaclear has to have vitamin C and zinc to be active. Um, and so we couldn't, we couldn't cr create one product with all of it because it would be a humongous pill about that big. So we needed to add the vitamin C on the side. So if you take Dermaclear, you have to take some C clear along with it. Um, so it has a mix uh, citrus bioflavonoids, which are rose hips, uh, orange, lemon, grapefruit, uh, esriola, cherry, hesperian, root, and uh, and these are all anti-inflammatory, and these are all uh, antihistamines. Histamines are uh, what's produced primarily in the liver when, some, when your body's reacting to something. It's reacting to an allergen, uh, or it's just toxic, and it creates these things to try to try to neutralize a threat from the outside. Uh, it, it is uh, an anti-inflammatory, like I said. It, um, it helps with the production of collagen, and it's definitely something that you want to connect with the uh, Dermaclear. The other, the other one is uh, the ultramarine fish oil. Uh, this one is uh, a very unique product because it is tested for mercury. Um, every batch, there's only about three suppliers of fish oil in the world and they're all in Scandinavia. Um, and so, a lot of these companies buy different grades of, of, of oil based on their purity, based on their concentration, based on if, uh, if they've been tested, based on where they're capped, you know, where the fish comes from, the type of the fish oil that they get it from. So it's important to remember that not all fish oil is the same. In fact, it's kind of like olive oil. You buy olive oil and it's, you know, 30% cut with canola, 30% cut with corn and all these different things. So very important. People say, well, I'm taking fish oil. I've been taking it for a long time. And you know, I don't know, it just upsets my stomach because, um, you know, I just don't take well to it. So I don't take it any longer. Well, <clears throat> where are you getting your fish oil? Well, I buy it at Costco. I get a good deal. It's like $6.99 for 300 pills or whatever. And it's like, oh my God, you're, you're, you're being poisoned basically. So uh, you got to be careful with fish oil. It is a dense nutrient. Uh, very, very important because as Taisha said earlier, all of the oils that we're consuming at this point, unless you know you're getting actual olive oil, is synthetic processed oils that our bodies have to neutralize either by enzymes that we talked about or by creating a fatty resistance in the liver uh, to try to create and house some of these toxic oils. So very important to be able to counteract this process with a very, very high quality marine fish oil. And it's very important to also have the right balance of EPA and DHA. Uh, we also added an additional vitamin D to it, uh, which you're going to get as well. So the important thing is that this particular product is in the right ratios that we want. And it's also 100% uh, screened and tested for any kind of remnants of toxicity from the ocean, particularly mercury, right? 
because you don't want to be taking fish oil and over a course of time, you're poisoning your body with mercury. So very importantly, the, the DHA is uh, specifically for your brain. Um, and DHA is only found really in marine uh, products. Fish oil has a certain amount, but we, we concentrated in this particular one. Um, the, the ability to acquire DHA only comes from egg yolks, um, mother's milk, and fish oil. So I don't know about you, but I haven't had breast milk in about 50 years. And um, fish, I, I, I don't really eat fish only because it's obviously not tested. You don't know where it comes from unless it's, you know, salmon from a stream somewhere in Idaho or trout, it, it's clean. But obviously we don't have that, that ability anymore. Um, and so, no, what about like the Norwegian cod or the, do you trust that one? Where do you trust that one? Well, I mean, it's, yeah, I mean, even like in colder waters, it's great. Um, but again, it's, it's not tested, right? The ability to have a fish oil that has been tested is, is, is a very, very good um, resource to have. So what is fish oil good for? It's, it's great for inflammation. It's the number one agent that you can get for fighting inflammation. It's great for your hormones. Now remember that your mother hormone in the body that creates every other hormone in the body of hormones we know, we don't know about, you know, because I'm sure there's hundreds that we haven't even really isolated yet, originates from cholesterol, okay? Um, Harvard is starting, is starting to rethink this whole thing about bad cholesterol, good cholesterol, and they're saying there's really not bad cholesterol, there's just an imbalance of, 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 of you know, uh, HDL, LDL, it has to be balanced, but all of it is created in the body and all of it is good. It's just that we have to have the right balance. They're putting more emphasis on the actual density of, of cholesterol versus good and bad cholesterol. So fish oil helps to provide you with the good density, the good cholesterol, and actually create a viscous uh, blood flow through the veins because you don't want things to start to clot and to, to start to block certain things. Um, it's great for uh, your immune system. Uh, it is a, a immunoregulator or modulator. Uh, so if you have autoimmunes, uh, if you have things like uh, arthritis, it, it is very, very, very good for that. Uh, again, it's a precursor to hormones. So a lot of women going through menopause, it's very, very important for them to have the right amount of not only uh, EPA, DHA. Um, it yields 900 milligrams of uh, EPA and 660 of DHA in two capsules. The recommended is one twice a day. Uh, and like I said, DHA is for your brain. Our brain is 60 to 80% DHA. So we're basically fat heads here. We have to have DHA to be able to really use our brain to its fullest capacity. And because our food doesn't have really good fat any longer, we don't have the capacity to feed our brains any longer. This is where the whole keto diet is becoming super popular. Um, the keto diet was uh, really designed for epilepsy and seizures, which is extremely effective because it's fat. The brain needs fat, right? Can I say something too about that? I, I had kind of in just a dialogue at one point mentioned um, the importance of fats on the brain mm -hmm. um, to one of our accounts. And I saw her two years later working at a different place and I had completely forgotten. And she said, you know, you, you talked about the fish oil. My daughter was having serious depression issues. She was, you know, almost aggressive towards towards the mom, just things were not going well. And she said it completely changed their whole relationship in her daughter's life to start getting fat on the brain. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I, just that. No. I was like, it feels good to do that for people. And yeah. you're, just, you're just babbling and talking and this, you know, you get this kind of feedback. Yeah. It's like, I did that for them. I mean, there's very few I things that, that are not supported or that are supported by medical literature. Um, 
you know, mainstream and not mainstream. And, and one of the ones that is just undeniable is it's fish oil and vitamin D, vitamin C. You know, these things you cannot, even if you wanted to find a reason not to take it or to really go against it, you can't. You have hundreds of hundreds of hundreds of thousands of, of studies that prove that fish oil, vitamin C, um, and what was the other one I said? Vitamin C, fish oil, um, are definitely something that is, is no longer a myth. It is definitely hard science. Um, so things that you can actually support with the fish oil, joint comfort, okay? I don't know of anyone, but it, it seems like joint pain, muscle pain, inflammation, rheumatoid, osteo is, is rampant, uh, particularly if you do a lot of repetitive motion with your hands, if you sit a lot, if you're not exercising, you're going to start getting a lot of discomfort in your joints. Fish oil is probably one of the best things you can do. Bar none. Uh, skin and hair. You know, you need to have good quality of, of, of protein, uh, fats that aid the, the ability for your body to maintain a certain level of oil and hydration. Uh, same thing with the hair. Cardiovascular. I mean, obviously, we know that if you take fish oil and you take a good quality one, you're going to bring down the risk of uh, plaque, uh, clots. Uh, just cardiovascular integrity in general. Uh, Taisha mentioned the, the brain. Uh, I mentioned the, you know, the fat for brain in epilepsy and, and seizures. Neuro neurological performance, okay, aside from any of those harsh diseases, we are our brain, right? If you look at the structure of the body, you have this computer up on top. I'll use my face. You have this computer, and then you have this pedestal, which are your, your shoulder, your skeletal, your muscular uh, body, basically carrying your brain, your computer around, right? Your brain is telling your fingers to do this. It's telling me to do that. It's telling me to type. Your brain is basically being carried with your body. So a lot of times people forget about your brains. I, I, can't, I can't tell you how much I've seen neurological degeneration happen in my friends and family members and, and people I haven't seen for a, a year. I see them every once a year because it's a family event or because we, we, we see each other once a year. And I can't tell you how bad of an epidemic the neurological degeneration is uh, because we're not feeding our brains. We forget about the computer. The computer is what drives everything. It's what, it's what tells and signals the rest of the body to do function, to detox, to create hormones, to regulate uh, and modulate immune responses. It's everything. So we've kind of forgot about our brains. You know, I can't tell you how many people sit here and go, God, what, you know, what, you know, I, I, it's in the tip of my tongue. I can't think of it right now. That's the first sign that there's something not right. Okay. Then it can just go on and on and on. People say, I have a great long-term memory, but don't ask me where I left my keys. Don't ask me where I parked my car. <laughs> don't ask me what I'm doing in this room. I came here to do something. I walked to the door now. I can't remember what it was. I don't know. But I remember my friend's daughter's dog's birthday. You know, very, very interesting. So the quick reactions to recall things that are, are near and dear that just happened about an hour, a minute, a month away, it's hidden in those files because we remember everything that happened when we were young, where things were nice and acute and functioning at a high level. We remember all those things. We start to forget things that we came across and we needed to remember as we get older. So very important to create a saturation of good fats so the brain can actually have what it needs. Okay, now, the other one that I really, really, really like is the Cocoa Pro Factors. If you guys don't know about that, sure, show it here. Show. This particular um, product is one of my favorites. I, again, I take it every night. It is a precursor to human growth factors. Uh, it is not a human growth factor or a human growth molecule. It is the precursors to it, which means that your body produces growth factors, human growth factors, or HGH, 
every day. It has to, otherwise we stop regenerating. Um, people always ask me, are you opposed to people having, you know, gr human growth shots and this and that? I'm like, no, there's a reason for everything. So if someone's having an issue healing, if someone's having an issue performing uh, because they've had an injury or they're injuring themselves, um, there was a time where I was having all these really nagging injuries. I tore a, a ligament in my, in my elbow. I tore a muscle attachment to my hamstring and my knee. And it's like, why is this happening? Um, I was going to bed late over and over. I think over about a course of a two-year-old. And, you know, those of you that have children know what, what that's like. So I wasn't sleeping very much. And I kept thinking I need to keep exercising. I can't slow down. I, I need to keep doing this. But I was pushing it. It's just my personality. If I'm going to do something, I can't just have to it. I need to do it like when I was doing it when I was 18. So I had these nagging injuries. And so I finally figured out that the human growth factor starts secreting and producing in your body from the time you hit uh, REM sleep, usually around 11 to about 2, and two at night. If you skip that window of opportunity, the body loses that window of opportunity to create these human growth repair, anti-stress building hormones, right? So I needed to just adjust something and give my body something that it will have those, those nutrients and those resources available so that if I'm in bed and REM sleep somewhere between 11 to 2 in the morning, things are going to start to develop, okay? So this product is not only a protein uh, supplement, uh, but it, it is a precursor to the human growth factor. So it, it improves workouts and recovery, cardiovascular health with, again, the integrity of the plumbing of the body, the, the fragility of the, the capillaries, uh, reduction of sugar cravings, and it's a reduction in body fat. And again, uh, if the body has high levels or adequate levels of human growth factors, then your metabolism increases, your thermogenic ability to burn fat increases, your recovery, your injury rate slows down. All these things are super important. Um, and it's very unique because it is, all of our products obviously are gluten-free, um, vegan, except for the fish oil. I guess you can say it's vegetarian, but it's not, it's fish. So pescatarian, <laughs> right? But this particular product has really just one ingredient. Uh, two ingredients. It's it's uh, protein from the cocoa bean, right? And um, and it, um, it it from that all the amino acids are extracted. Um, it has high levels of amino acids, and the only other ingredient is stevia to just give it a nice sort of like sweet flavor to it, and um, so. Someone just asked, uh, I think it was the warning as far as the tub. I think it says consuming this product can expose yourself to chemicals. This is a California law uh, that, that passed, uh, basically saying that the amount of uh, toxicity, I think it's particular lead um, that it's found in, in, in these containers and any containers uh, is detrimental to your health. Um, you can find more of that in concentrations of vegetables and anything that grows in the dirt. And it's just basically a compliance situation. Uh, that's all it is. Um, there's one here that I wanted to really cover. Um, yeah, uh, glutamine. A lot of you have, have heard of leaky gut. Uh, of the microbiome, and um, we all have it. To some extent or another, we all have it. it it's very important to, to realize that as we get older, we start becoming more vulnerable to other bacteria because we've had series of antibiotics, we've had surgeries, we've taken drugs, uh, we've taken alcohol, uh, we've had more of those bad oils that she's talking about, we've had infections, we've had all these different things that degenerate the lining of the stomach that, that is able to discern between proteins and, and healthy uh, nutrients versus unhealthy bacteria that gets through the lining of the, the stomach 
into a systemic uh, circulatory um, system and then starts attacking different things. And remember, if you have a leaky gut, you have a leaky brain. I want you to remember that. Okay, so if you're having digestive issues, bloating, gas, constipation, diarrhea, burping, heartburn, reflux, all these things are signs that your GI is off, okay? If you have uh, heartburn after you have certain foods, uh, that just tells you that you're not digesting your food well. And so one super ingredient that is by far the number one ingredient to heal the gut is glutamine. It's an amino acid that is found um, to actually heal and repair the gut. Um, and we have 6,000 milligrams of this glutamine in the copa pro factors, right? So not only are you getting a precursor to human growth factors, you're getting a massive amount of glutamine. It's hard to find 6,000 milligrams. I, I found products that are just glutamine that have half the amount of, of glutamine. Um, and it has uh, uh, arginine, uh, lysine, glycine, these are all precursors to collagen production. So a lot of people are taking collagen and a lot of people are taking precursors of collagen. Uh, this would be uh, right up there with collagen because it has all the precursors. Now when you take collagen, guess what? Your body has to break it down to all these amino acids to be able to produce your own collagen, right? This is basically what your body would produce collagen into to be able to then distribute it throughout your body. Muscle, uh, skin, uh, hair, uh, internal organs, right? So a lot of times when you have collagen, the body doesn't break it down. It's just too dense of a molecule to even absorb. And so this is a way around to say, well, Let's not do heavy lifting. Let's just have it already broken down and fix your gut and give you uh, great amounts of amino acids and proteins. Uh, this is basically a, a protein supplement that has 14 grams per scoop with two ingredients, cocoa powder and stevia. There's, there's not another product out there that comes from that, that source. Um, you know, there's many, many studies on chocolate and, and, and why they're, it's healthy for you, the antioxidant. Um, and a lot of these, these um, unfortunately, a lot of these studies have been sponsored by M&Ms and, and Mars and, and Nestle. Why? Because they're trying to prove that chocolate is healthy for you, and they're right that it is, but everything else that's in their products isn't. And that's the problem, right? White sugar. <laughs> White sugar yeah. and waxes and, you know, all kinds of different Cheers. chemicals and, and, you know, artificial colors and flavoring. That's all stuff you don't need. But they're, they're piggybacking on the fact that cocoa or, or the chocolate in, the, in this case is really about the bean. The bean is what really has the antioxidant support and, 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 and treasure that, that they're, they're getting at not the establishment of, of the candy industry. Same thing with coffee. You can find thousands of studies of why coffee is great, but they're really talking about the coffee bean, right? The coffee bean is a fruit. I don't know if any of you have seen it. My mom used to tell me that she used to pick coffee beans when they were red and she used to eat them this way. For, like cherry. Yeah, for it's energy cherry. and she said it was sweet. And I never really thought of coffee as being sweet. I thought of coffee as being hard and uh, acidic. Uh, so when you hear about these studies, you really got to kind of go through the, the, all the minutiae and separate it and, and really get to the way this is important. Um, same thing with wine, right? A lot of the studies are, uh, on wine are, are, are true, but then once it's, it's wine, they're talking about the resveratrol, which is a molecule that's found in grape seed and the skin of the grape very different than what wine is. And a lot of people hate me for that because I turn them on to tequila instead. And so um, I think wine is another example of why uh, a lot of the studies are, are pointing and misleading, but yet they're really talking about something else. So getting back to the, 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 the cocoa, uh, the cocoa powder and the stevia are the only two ingredients in this. And from that, we render all of these different massive precursors to growth factors uh, skin, um, hair, proteins, on and on. So 
what you can expect, uh, decreased body fat content, enhanced lean body mass, healthy cholesterol levels, efficient cardi cardiac output, increased skin elasticity, um, increased libido, increased energy and sense of well-being. Okay. The last product we're going to do before we go into Q&A is the, uh, again, the vitamin D. Uh, and again, vitamin D, fish oil, vitamin C, these are the three things along with chondroitin and uh, glucosamine uh, for joint pain that no one can rebuke how important these are. There's, there's bodies of, of medical literature that is undeniable. And one of those is vitamin D. Uh, there is a blood test you can do uh, to see where your blood levels are. Uh, it ranges from 30 to about 90. Uh, and uh, I like to see people right around 65 to 70. That's a perfect level for, for D3. The other thing to remember is that D3 is a K2 inhibitor. K2 is a uh, substance that helps uh, the body coagulate uh, naturally. So a lot of times if people are taking, you know, D3 in, in massive doses, which takes a lot, uh, they start seeing like they bruise a little bit more often, they don't know why. So it's important for you to have a D3 and K2 together. Now, what are the benefits of vitamin D? Um, right now, there's a lot of talk about vitamin D um, because of what's going on in the world with uh, COVID. And one of the things, and one some of the studies are emerging from all over the world that high levels of vitamin D are essential uh, to be able to, to recover, avoid, and uh, withstand such a, such a, a virus. Um, so the number one thing that it, that it really is good for is your immune system, right? Your immune system is just an amazing God-given uh, attribute that our body has. And it's what's kept us alive for all these millennia, right? So our immune system really needs vitamin D. Um, the problem with vitamin D and that balance is that, you know, people don't go out in the sun a lot because of sun damage and because of the ozone layer. And I get that. And I, I'm, you know, that's why I said, let's just do it before 10 and do it after four. And at that point, you can spend hours out there and be fine. Um, it's, it, it also, for women, I always tell people, any women over 28, 30 years old needs to be on vitamin D. It's just what has to happen now. Um, so it helps you with, with your immune system. Uh, there's also studies out there that helps to prevent secondary cases of breast cancer by as much as 60%. Um, it's great for uh, bone and cardiovascular health. So a lot of people that are vitamin D deficiency are the ones that are, that are being diagnosed with uh, uh, poor bone density, uh, arthritis, uh, bone fragility. Um, so you have this one vitamin, this one substance, D3, that helps you with bone density, with immune, with hormones, with... Um, uh, depression. It's just it's an amazing, amazing product. The K2 that's also enhanced with it helps with calcium absorption and it helps with distribution of it into the bone because you don't want calcium absorption to, to uh, sort of accumulate around the outside of the bone. That's when you start to have people that are feeling stiff um, and um, develop arthritis. So um, so vitamin D is super important. Uh, we were making our own vitamin D at one point. And uh, what happens is that the way that we were making it, the way that I wanted to make it, the, the, the quantity, the, the ability for it to, to absorb just became too expensive for us to retail it to you and then you retail it or wholesale it to you and then you wholesale it or retail it to your customers. Uh, and we're still working on that. But in the meantime, we found uh, one from a good supplier that we like. Uh, it doesn't have our, 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 our label, but it is a good, it's a good uh, option. And it does have the vitamin K2. It's liquid, it's sublingual, which I like, which is the same as ours. 
uh, and we're working at this point to actually get it back to a point where it's it's the price points isn't too absorbent where it doesn't become a, a very uh, important part of, of anyone's uh, protocol okay five uh, liquid drops is, is what I recommend and that gives you um, 500 or 5,000 I use uh, if you're over 60 if you have any uh, if you test your vitamin D and it's low I would say for a couple of weeks uh, do 10 drops and then bring it back down to five and you can stay at five Okay. I think most people can, if they don't want to do the test or have it, they can assume they're probably low, right? What would you say? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, not. what I do is I take 10 drops twice a week and that I check mine. And in the summer, you have to remember that the days are longer and warmer. We have about four hours more of sunlight. So we're going to be more, you know, I mean, uh, I spend a lot of time in a pool with my with my son or in the ocean, but it's always either before 10 or after 4. Uh, the ability for your eyes to really kind of get the sunlight triggers a vitamin D production as well. The, the restriction of your, your pupils mm -hmm. stimulate the brain, and then this whole process of uh, absorbing the UVB starts to create vitamin D. So sunglasses are a bit of a problem, right? Um, I wear sunglasses after 10. But before 10, after yeah, 10, and that too. before, yeah, from 10 to 4, I, I wear sunglasses. Uh, before 10, I, I don't. After 4, I use, I don't know, I have sensitive eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so I usually wear them up to about 6 o'clock. Yeah. It's just my preference. But, um, you know, for other reasons, I don't want cataracts uh, to develop either. So but we're in California, so there's a lot of sunlight here too. Uh, yeah. I, I grew up on the beach, so I, I've been exposed to a lot of sun, and my eyes do get red if I'm out in the sun, out in salt water, if I'm, you know, in the water. Um, they, they tend to get irritated, so I always wear sun protection. But if it's before 10, I don't. If it's after 6, I don't. Uh, usually in the winter time, um, I usually don't. Um, but for the most part, sunglasses be, uh, after 10 and before 4. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're going to open up for Q&A. So yeah, you guys can unmute yourselves. So um, Q&A, if we don't get to everyone, which I'm sure we're not going to, you can always um, email or call. Uh, this will be on video, so you can always reference back to this um, at any time. But we can open it up now for Q&A if you like. So I think Dorina, is that you? Yeah. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hi. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. Good. <laughs> I I made it. <laughs> I saw that you came late, but I didn't want to embarrass you in front of everyone. Yeah, you know. No, I did. I was trying to get on, and it went off, and I tried to get in again, and then my phone did. Some, I have a new phone, so I'm trying to get used to that. So I have a couple of things. Good. So what's your question, Dorina? I'm. I don't really have any. The question I have is at the beginning that I miss, and I'll I'll call in on that on the um, ordering, the awesome. the drop shipping or whatever you were talking about in the beginning. That's my that would be my question. Everything I I understand. I've had my notes in front of me. I've gone over it. I'm good. Yep. Perfect. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can um, put DNA for sale on your website, basically. So, and we're going to protect it from getting on Amazon. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I'll I'll call and get that information so everybody else can get their questions in. Perfect. Yeah. So if you Thank have any you. questions on anything that we covered, the uh, the uh, online sales uh, protocols, uh, supplementation, uh, vitamin D, uh, UV. Rate. Okay. So, all right. Anyone Thank you. Yep. I, Are you talking? I didn't. Um, I threw away all my old price list, and you said you were uh, taking the prices back to 2018. Mm -hmm. um, can you uh, post those, or mm -hmm. uh, how can I uh, access that information? Okay, uh, we'll make sure it's available. So we're going to either post it on a uh, constant contact, uh, or if you just want it faxed to you or emailed to you, uh, we can do that as well. You just yeah, that would be great. 
Yeah, yeah. In fact, um, make a note that we're going to go ahead and um, just, uh, email uh, an email blast of the, uh, the rollback so price kiss. Roll yeah. Mm -hmm. And can you um, hold up the container again? Uh, uh, Which one? Coco. Coco Pro. Coco Pro? Yeah. Okay. Great thing to be soothing. That's hot. Okay. Yeah. Got mm -hmm. it. Thank you. With, 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 with the blueberries and green powder. Yeah. And then that. And it's I, you know, it's very diverse. You can put it in your oatmeal. I put it in my yogurt. Um, I put it in my smoothies. Wow. Um, sometimes I'm craving sugar <laughs> and I just put it in some almond milk or coconut milk and I drink mm. it and it just really oh, craves it. It just shuts up my whole brain craving for sugar because it is somewhat sweet, but it's, it's, I mean, Look, I mean, it's chocolate, right? So the brain's just going to feel like it's been satisfied right? <laughs> with something rich. And uh, so for me, it's um, I'm a big chocolate. All right, anyone else? Wow, we did good today. Okay. So let's just recap a little bit. Um, the Ability to sell online is, is opened up to every uh, DNA certified account, which is pretty much everyone here. Um, we will have a registration to be able to register the yeah. uh, In that way, uh, we are all on the same page. Um, you can add a, a uh, shopping cart to your website. You can promote it, but we do suggest to use our um, uh, pictures and photography so that everyone can see the page and it's congruent. Hi, Joe. And I want to make, okay. sure, make sure that uh, we stay consistent with pricing, uh, MSRP or higher, okay? which I think it's fair enough. Uh, well, yeah, okay. I mean, I got one right here on my Okay. Yep, yep. Nope, my. Um, Okay. Someone has a plumber coming over. Good job. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, okay. Um. Okay. This is a uh, this is yes. recorded, so we're going to have it yep. for them to kind of review and have. Uh, it is going to be posted. So, if you have any additional questions, call, email, um, and. Go from there. Unless there's any more questions, we can cover those now. Everyone's smiling. Okay. Did I did I tell you that was going to be a quiz? <laughs> um, there's a um, question about packaging. Um, package. The good news is that we're not going to be in any deficient uh, back ordered uh, packaging whatsoever. Oh yeah which is good. The issue as far as um, available new packaging has been severely compromised due to COVID uh, for two reasons. One, because uh, the production has completely downsized. And three, a lot of the containers are being used for, sanit uh, for uh, what is it? The sanitizers. Sanitizers. So there was a huge, huge uptake on bottles and and compete for sanitation. I think uh, Johnson and Johnson and uh, Procter and Gamble bought billions of, of units of, of containers. Um, so we're still working on the conversion of a few. Uh, we're making some headway. As soon as we know more, uh, we're gonna obviously let you know, but we were definitely still working on it for sure. It's, it's tricky, and I'll tell you why, because you can look at a, at a packaging and say, well, this is great packaging. It is. But what happens is you have different viscosities. For instance, you have the cream of nectar. That's one viscosity. Then you have the lightning serum. That's one. You have the, the vitamin A. And so people, you know, think, unless you have something like this that can subside for certain things, but yet you need a pump for other things. 
And so it's hard. We, we find packaging for one or two products yeah. and, it's great and, and it's biodegradable and it's recyclable and it works amazing. Then, excuse my French, but then it sucks with the other ones because it just doesn't, doesn't pump or it doesn't. Yeah. But we're in this constant flux where we're trying to find and then we find something and then, oh, it won't be available for six months. So we're still looking. I think we're narrowing it down. I think we, we know what the look that we want to go for. That's, that's, that's good. Um, but we want to change everything to mostly glass, if not 100% uh, recyclable. So uh, we are in, a, in the process of initiating a, a recycling program that I'm not going to bore you with right now, but it, it is something that probably within the next few months we're going to have a recycling program. We found a company that will recycle 100% of all of our packaging, our existing packaging. So um, we just have to find a program to make it uh, logistically easy for everyone. But we're working on that as well. Yeah. Um, is there another question? I have a question. Um, when is DNA going to come out with a probiotic? Because <laughs> um, we know the importance of yeah, it. I mean, I have one already made. It's just a matter of, uh, you know, the, the thing is that I'm such a, a perfectionist that I, I almost know too much about the industry and that in order for me to make a product, it has to be absolutely the best product. Otherwise, I just won't make it. Um, and so for me to make a probiotic that is, is up to my standards, uh, along with probably 50 other products that I have shelved, is because the, the cost of producing it, if I was producing it, I'm sorry, and selling it directly to the public, it would make sense because it won't be $100. But in order for me to produce it, wholesale it to you, and then you, you know, mark up, it, it kind of marks it out of the, the, the market. However, having said that, uh, I'm getting close to about six different formulas that I, that I know that I can kind of work with. And that's because I don't really want to mark it up. I want, to, I want you to mark it up. Um, and make it available because I think the more products that are there with, with integrity and quality and exploration is even better for you and for DNA and for our end user. So that's a good question. Thank you. Okay. Uh, again, if there's any other questions, uh, Jack, one question. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, I got booted off for a few minutes, so forgive me if I'm repeating this. I'm just like getting right back on the call. So I wanted to know with supplements, will there be a break, if I wanted to retail all the supplements, um, will there be a breakdown on how to give it to my clients, how often they should be taking it, what supplement can be paired up with the other one, um, things like that? Yeah, just a rule of thumb, uh, all the products can be taken at the same time, okay? Again, if you follow just regular DNA protocol, like you know, cock, you know, cocktailing and this and that, it's, it's the same thing. Uh, there's the information sheets that we have available for you guys uh, that has all the ingredients, uh, what it does, the okay. source of it, the milligrams, and the dosage that is recommended. So if someone says, "Let me have all of it," and they take the recommended dosage, we're fine. Okay. And does this C clear replace the old vitamin C that you had? Yes. Got it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have a question. Um, Dr. Aguilar, on your um, brochures, is there any way in the future that they can, like the Signal Pro can be updated a little bit in there? It's hard to give it to a client, mark all the stuff that they're using, and then have no information on the Signal, the signal Pro. I mean, plus, the signal plus. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So the retail. Um, yeah, I mean, I always hand out the brochure because you do have the toxins listed. You explain the company. You have all the products listed. That's great. But the only thing that's not in there is the signal plus. Okay. It's, it's a, you know. That's, that's on the actual brochure? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we'll tell them. We'll get on that. In fact, okay, I, thank you. Yeah, we need to make sure because i think we're ready to order yeah, well, yeah we need to make that thank you for that thank you you know how they say you can see 100 miles away but you can't see your own eyebrows <laughs> yeah so 
<laughs> that happens sometimes. So yeah. thank you for that. Yes. Really important retail items. Yes. Uh, Naz? <clears throat> Hi, Naz. Hi. Thank you for this. This is my first time here, and I'm very new to DNA, and I'm loving the products so far. My request is for the Retail Signal Plus. Can you think about bringing it in a smaller size? Because I'm not able to sell it more than two clients so far. They are just afraid they're going to leave it outside and it's going to go bad and it's an expensive product. So if it's in a smaller size, even if they leave it outside, it's not that much of a money loss for them. Okay. I love the sprayers for that reason. It's just a packaging issue for sure. Well, let's, uh, let's make note of that. And mm -hmm. it's definitely something we'll start to look into. I'm not able to sell I think that. It's really important because, you know, we want, we want everyone to have great skin. When I first met Dr. Aguilar, I said, well, if I do these treatments, what do I charge? And he said the most authentic, amazing thing to me. And he said, my philosophy is I want this to be affordable probably don't remember, to the gardener and the person who owns the, the big house, you know? And, and he said, everybody deserves health and everybody deserves healthy skin, and good skin. And so mm -hmm. that was my philosophy as well. And so um, absolutely, I feel like if we could have it back to the way we did have it, where it was retailing for more around the $50 mark instead of $150. Um, I don't have any problem selling it even for 200 but it's like it's going to go bad if they leave it out. And yeah, I, people get fearful. Mm -hmm. I have done that. Some teens, it's hard to sell, or a single mom, it's hard to stomach that. And it just, it kind of isolates our demographic, and we don't want to do that. So, um, yeah, we need to definitely. Okay. We'll, we'll look into it for sure. I mean, it can be done, right? That's no problem. Yeah. Um, it's just the, the logistics and, um, yeah. So we'll look into that and, and, and stand by. We'll kind of let you know. And another thing is the manual that I have, even I'm new to DNA, but a lot of information is very old and it's not updated anymore. So I know your company's green. I don't mind if it's even digital, if you guys can um, have a digital updated manual, that would be great. So whenever I'm going into it and looking into things and talking to Taisha and she's like, oh, all right, like even in protocols. So. Yeah, we're going to look to make sure for some reason you didn't get an old one or an updated. Yeah, there was a there was an old protocol that she had. Yeah, and it's all old, and I just got it. Okay. And the microcurrent okay. mask, because we remember we didn't have okay. it one time, so yeah. we were scared to put all that toxic stuff on yeah. the skin. Yeah, so we'll, okay. we'll, we'll get all on all that. I can just stop Okay, um, it's uh, one o'clock. So thank you for being on this platform. It's definitely going to be more. Uh, we're trying to do these once a once a month. Um, and I really, really encourage you to really take advantage of the online uh, capabilities that uh, are going to be offered. I think it would be a very beneficial thing for you and your clients. Uh, like I said, we're just getting an enormous amount of calls every day. And um, we want to make sure that your clients know that you're still operational, that you're still uh, relevant, and that you can still help them get their products, even though you may have to not be there, but at least they know that they can get products because they're calling us all the time. So we want to make sure that that doesn't. Right. Thank you so much for your. Thank you. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate everyone. Uh, Thank, you so Thank you so much for your time and information. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll talk to you soon. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.